Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about the things with you, how can delete this brand and also when you delete this brand, automatically this brand deleted image is deleted, right? So if you go to our public, into the public, I have already created all the images folder and to the brand folder. So that is the images is also deleted when you delete this brand. So now in this video, I want to discuss about another things. Like when you upload any images, automatically whatever the image you will upload, this image size will be same. You can see that is actually the uh, 700 to 50 as a 400 to 22. So that is different type of image sizes. So if you want to make it a specific, that means if you want to put some of the specific image at a size, then you can actually also do that work. So if you want to do this work, then you have to do, you have to use one of the Laravel package and it's called that Laravel image intervention. So with this, you can actually manage it. I show you, then everything will be very much clear to you. So before doing this, we have to install this Laravel package. So if you search in Google with the Laravel image intervention, then automatically it will be provided this link as the installation intervention image. Now I open it. So that is one of the link. So when you use this uh, intervention package, then you can do a lot of work. You can cache it, you can canvas it, and also you can manage a lot of the functionality actually. You can manage that size, you can reset it. So how can manage this size with using this size uh, function I want to do, I want to manage our size. Okay, you can see there is the size, you can also declare that size, how many dimension you want to put for a specific this image, you can actually do that work. So first of all, we have to do, we have to install it. So if you want to install it, make that sure you updated your PHP version and that is the composer installation code. So I have already installed that composer in our project, right? So now I want to do, I want to install it. So if you want to install, you have to do, you have to actually copy it. I simply copy the composer and dot far and the require and the intervention slash image. So now I want to do, I want to install it in our um, system. So I have already run our PHP artisan serve. So better go to our project directory. So that is our project directory folder. Here I want to run our command as a CMD. And now after that, I want to add this as a composer first. So here you don't need to use that first. Some of the time it's actually show some of the error. So better I want to do, I want to make it as a remove it from here. I remove that dot file. Okay, that will be just composer required and intervention and then image. And now if you click as the enter, then automatically it will be downloaded all that file from to the internet and it will be installed this intervention package in your system. So friend, it may take little time. Okay, it may take little time because here it will be downloaded all that file from to the internet. So who better when it will be done, then I will come back again. Okay, here you can see friend, it's now downloading all the packages and also you now it's installed successfully. So after that we have to do, we have to flow our next step. Like if you go here again. So after that, it's actually recommended to users. So that is actually the users file and also that is our integration in Laravel. So here we have successfully installed it. That means we have successfully installed our package. Now we have to do, we have to in integration into the Laravel. So if you want to add that into the Laravel project, first of all, here you can see it's now showing as you go to that config and the app.php and here add this flowing lines. That means here we have to do, we have to add this line in our providers. So if you go to that config and to the app.php, like here right now, that is our HTTP and I want to do, I want to go to our config and to the config and that is our app.php. Right, so now open it. So into the app.php here, they have also one of the um, providers. So here if you go, so you can see that is actually the providers. So into the providers area, I, you have to do, you have to add this package. That means into the, that means into the package area, I want to do, I want to add it. So I simply add it and make that sure you add that comma. So here, first of all, you have to add it. And after that, our another one, we have to add into the allies. That means into the same file that we see in our con config app.php into the allies here. We have to also do, we have to add this one. So now I copy it also. I copy it and now go to our again, that's app.php and they have also another one as allies. And here you can see there is actually allies. So into the allies area, we have to do, we have to also add it. That means here we have to add this one. Okay, make that sure you add that comma. So make that sure you add both of this. So that is actually our both of this I have already added. Perfect, now click as a save all. 
and after that we have to do we have to publish it okay and that means we have to publish this uh, configuration so if you want to publish it uh, you have to do you have to copy it so better i copy it and now go to our file that means our project directory so into the directory area here i simply paste it okay so here i simply paste it now i want to do i want to publish this our packages that means our image intervention packages in laravel so if you paste it and after that if you click as the enter now you can see friend it's now showing as a publishing complete that means it's totally ready to use uh, for our this project okay that means here right now we can actually use it so now if you want to add this image intervention package in our brand page so into the brand area i have already added the brand and the images right so right now i want to do i want to use that image intervention package so if you want to do that work for store this data in our brand controller i have already declared one things uh, like if you go to our brand controller into the brand controller that is our update and that is our store brand right so from to the store brand we insert our data before you can see i insert this data that means i insert this our images into the image folder into the brand folder here i have used it so now i want to do i want to do the same things for you with using our this package as a image intervention package so if you want to do that work better right now we don't need this okay i better i want to do i want to make it as a comment out so here i make it as a comment out so here it should be needed that is i take one of the variable as a brand image and here i re get our requested file from the brand image that means whatever the file you will pass from to this position so here i take it okay so after that right now we don't need to use this one here i want to use in image intervention so it should be just like that same better hmm, here also it should be needed so i want to do i want to actually take it okay better i copy it i copy total things from here i paste it so that will be i take one of the variable i have already discussed about that things with you and then the hex dels and then the unique one of the id should be generated and after that unique id i want to do i want to add our this get client station so i sh show you like here it should be a uh, concrete uh first of all it will be generated one of the id and then it will be as a dot and after that i want to do i want to add our this brand that means our this brand image okay that means this brand image so i want to do i want to add this brand image so this brand image uh, then i want to do i want to add our get client get and then client okay get client and then original extension extensions that means actually this one okay that means this one you can see that is actually the get client get original extensions that means it will be created one of the generated one of the id right so it will be generated one of the id and then the dot that means after that it will be added one of the dot and then the png png or jpg whatever the extensions your images are so here should be get these images right so that means that is a clear id and then dot and then our image whatever the images i just pass it and that means from here whatever the image i just uploaded so this image uh, it will be get this image extension right friend i hope it's very much clear to you so now i simply add it and after that i want to do i want to use our image extension that means image intervention so i name it as image so now we can actually use that image and then make that means whatever the image you will be get just make it as a specific one of the size okay so now i want to do i want to make it our which image whatever the image i will upload it so whatever the image i uploaded so that is this image right so now i want to do i want to add it so this image i want to resize it i want to use one of the function in uh, image intervention as a resize so i name it as a resize and with the resize area whatever the and dimension you want to use so i make it as a 300 it should be as a 300 and then height will be as a 200 okay so this type of one of the image size i want to add and after that i want to do i want to save it and then i save it okay and it should be save which place it should be save our same better i want to use that same location into the image and with the brands it should be saved okay that means you know image folder into the image i have already created another folder so in our public into the images folder i have already created another folder as a brand so it should be saved in particular that area and it should be saved with our specific one of the id 
id and the name i take it with this variable right so now i want to do i want to simply add it that means here after that okay after that i concrete our this name perfect so friend that's all you have to do and after that i want to do i want to make it as a uh, our last image that means where it should be moved so i name it as a uh, last okay last image i take one of the variable and then our path name so our path name will be this one so here i want to do i want to add it so it will be just like that same and after that i want to concrete it with the specific name our name as a name that means the generated name so that is actually our generated name so now i simply add it that's all okay so right now we don't need to actually code like that way so if you use that image intervention package so that is actually our image intervention package so first of all as i told you friend it will be created id and dot and then one of the extension what of the file you uploaded so this file extension and then it will be image so that is actually image one of the function where where we get it by installing that image intervention so with this Im image intervention it will be make this whatever the images i uploaded from our this position it should be make it and resize it with this dimension okay 300 by 200 and then it's saved in our image brand folder with a specific name right that means this a unique name so that is our unique name and last i want i take one of the variable and here i specific our this name will be saved in our particular this folder and then our insert it will be just like that same our brand name will be saved our brand images will be our this image that means our last image and then our created ad and everything will be just like that same okay so that's all you have to do and also here i use that image so if you use that image you have to do you have to load it so make that sure you load it that means you have to use it use this image okay so now here i simply use our this image perfect so that's all you have to do now let's check this out friend click as a save all and now if you go and refresh this space again so right now i want to do to add new one and i name it as a um, Oh, I name it as a Nokia. Okay, I name it as a Nokia, one of the brand. Click as the choose image. So right now I choose one of the image, another image. Mm, better this one. I choose this one and now click as the add brand. Yes, you can see our brand inserted successfully. So that is our um, Nokia brand and that is our images for education purpose. I'm using it and also showing as a created one second ago. So now if you go to our file location and into the file if you um, put your cursor yes you can see friend now that is our dimension is updated. So here I have a specific with a dimension will be 300 and the 200 and you can see it's now perfectly as a 300 and the 200. So here I simply add this part. So you can see there is a resize as a 300 to the 200. So for the reasons our image size is now updated. So now we can actually add our specific um, image size that we want. Before that was actually the default one. You can see this, that was default one. So right now I can make it as per our demand. So how can do that work with using that image intervention? I hope friend is very much clear to you. Okay, so here you have to do that work. So that is actually the common line if you go to that image intervention side here that is actually the same you can see that is actually the same command. So that is actually the way so here we, we apply it uh, for our brand image and now it's great. Okay so in our next video I want to discuss about one of the most interactive things that how can upload that multiple image. So a lot of the student, a lot of students actually get confused about it. So how can add that multiple image at a time in your database? In our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.